Do you know which church in the book of Revelation you are in? There's three of the churches that I want to talk about today. First, let's talk about Ephesus. Ephesus was doing a lot of things right. They hated the deeds of the Nicolaitans. Now, if you want to understand what the deeds of the Nicolaitans is, you got to think about those greasy, greasy, greasy grace-filled churches. And I don't mean the good kind of grace. I mean the overdone kind of grace to the point where fornication is encouraged and allowed, okay? You know, the kind of churches where they're not condemning sin at all. The Church of Ephesus did a great job by hating those things and holding fast to the commands of God. But where they slipped up is they forgot their first love, Yeshua. They, they forgot how they entered, they entered the church to begin with. They forgot their Passover lamb, Yeshua. And, in, and because of that, they were in danger of actually losing their salvation. Okay, now let's talk about Laodicea. Laodicea has the opposite problem as Ephesus. Laodicea is kind of the greasy grace church. The Laodicea has gotten so far into grace that they think they're rich and they think they have all the problems of the world solved because they feel like they're so blessed in their finances. They're so blessed in how, how their life here on this earth is going, but they don't realize that they're blind. They're blind to the matters of the spirit. These two churches are on opposite ends of the spectrum. Ephesus is church number one, and it's all about the law and the commands. And Laodicea is church number seven on the opposite side of the spectrum. And they're the Greasy Grace Church that doesn't keep any commands at all. They're completely lukewarm. What's interesting is we have the first church and the last church. Who's the first and the last? The church of Laodicea is told, I know your works, that you're neither hot or cold. Notice that word works. That word works is ergon in the Greek. That's your toil. What are you toiling at every single day? Remember Adam in the garden? He had to toil the land. He was tilling the land every single day. What land are you tilling every single day? You're either tilling the kingdom land or the land of the world of the flesh. And we see that play out in a different way for the Church of Philadelphia, the church that is praised completely. Because you have guarded, that's their work, they guarded the word of endurance. He, they shall also be guarded in the hour of trial. In the Church of Philadelphia, we also see that word works again. He knows their works because they have guarded the word of endurance. What was their works? What was their deputy ship? What were they in charge of? Guarding his word of endurance. What is the endurance? It's in Revelation 14, 12. Here is the endurance of the set apart ones, those who are guarding the commands of Elohim and the belief if, of Yeshua. So in Philadelphia, we see the balance of spirit and truth working together in cohesion. Philadelphia is guarding the full work, the first and the last.